Meantime, the steep drop in temperature significantly raising calls for first responders. The Corpus Christi Fire Department telling 3 News the last 48 hours have been nothing short of busy responding to all kinds of weather related emergencies. Yeah, our Bill Churchwell spoke one on one with Corpus Christi Fire Chief Brandon Wade and joins us now with details on that. Bill. Well, the fire department seeing those emergency calls fluctuate with the changing temps, but they're not the only ones staying on their toes during the freezing weather. So is the American Red Cross. First came the car crashes. There were multiple. Then there were the fires. The past 48 hours, we've had 435 incidents. So. That's probably roughly 100 more than what we usually would see. Fire Chief Brandon Wade says among those calls were six major fires, like this one along Sycamore Place on the city's west side, where flames shot out of the window, daylight showing the extent of damage. And then there was also this fire Tuesday morning on Caribbean Drive in Flower Bluff that involved three vehicles and an RV. So we've been pretty busy in the fire department. City firefighters also going out to check on folks who suffered slips and falls, and those people who were stuck out in the dangerous cold. Monday night, paramedics with CCFD escorting this man off the streets and taking him to the city's refuge. If they don't need true medical care, then we can keep them out of the hospital system and truly get them what they need, which is a little bit of shelter, a little bit of warmth, maybe a hot cup of coffee. Among those assisting with that overnight warming center at the city gym on Cabanus Parkway, volunteers with the local chapter of the American Red Cross. Red Cross volunteers are trained and ready to answer that call 24 seven. Angie Garcia says they partner with city staff when an emergency arises in order to keep others safe. Our mission is to prevent and alleviate human suffering in the face of emergencies. And last night was a beautiful testament to what Corpus Christi does well. Over the last two days, they too have also seen a need for their services increase for the 19 counties they cover. Those home fire calls that are increasing in the Coastal Bay and the Corpus Christi area are also happening in the Wharton and Jackson County areas as well. Meantime, Chief Wade says a working smoke detector can help save lives. And he says it was important for him to check on his own staff during this time because while we're away, they have to be concerned about the same thing at their, their own home. Is the water lines freezing? Is everything going good? Or, you know, the heater's working? And tonight, Chief Wade said one call they haven't received a lot of was for flooding caused by busted water pipes. The chief encourages everyone to know where your shutoff valve is located. And if you don't know where it is at and wind up facing a water emergency, they will come out and help shut that line off to help protect your property. The Red Cross is always searching for volunteers to help. We'll be sure to post that information on our website. Back to you. All right, Bill, thank you.